I'm Sam Hoyle, your Wasco neighborhood reporter. When you think of a musical instrument or just music in general, something that sounds like this might not be the first thing that comes to mind. According to a BBC News historical account, the instruments date back to the 1930s, originating in Trinidad and Tobago, and is thought to be the only instrument created from industrial waste. The program's director says the history behind the instruments is just as important as the music. The history is about uh, enslaved people who were denied their music. However, they used the raw materials of the area where they were at to create a new kind of music. For the last 12 years, that music has permeated the school, and in talking with students during the program's final rehearsal ahead of their concert, all noted they were drawn to the opportunity after being introduced to the sound. Uh, the music that they play, the, the way that they can change a song uh, feel to it, just the music, the way that it sounded, it sounded so unique. I just like, I love the way it sounded. And so that's when I was just like, I want to do it. In schools across the country, bands featuring traditional instruments like saxophones and trumpets and drums can be found. But for some of these students, the steel drum program in Wasco is important because it's unique. Most people don't really know what this is or ever heard it play. And when people come out and watch this, it's amazing seeing like, their eyes open or be like, oh, that's cool. You have clarinets, trumpets, trombones, like all the basic stuff you see. And then all of a sudden you have like a metal barrel that makes noise. And it's like, I want to I wanna figure out how that works and play it. Now, in talking with the school's music instructor, Greg Sparks, affectionately known as Sparky around these parts, he noted one of the reasons why they brought this steel drum program to Wasco was to give kids an opportunity to express themselves musically. And I think it's safe to say that they've been able to do that. In Wasco, I'm Sam Hoyle, your neighborhood reporter.